Hey everyone and welcome to the very first video in my Hedera Hashgraph Python playlist that I've been putting together. So if you watch the intro that I put out a couple of days ago, you'll know that what I'm trying to do is help you as Python developers work with Hedera Hashgraph so you can start building applications using Hedera Hashgraph and get some mass adoption because Hedera Hashgraph is just leagues ahead of blockchain. It's a lot quicker, it's better for the environment, and it's a lot cheaper to use. So, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our machine because there's no Hedera Hashgraph SDK. It's not as, quick, as simple as just pip installing a, a library and you're good to go. You need to actually add some env environment variables um, and you need to install uh, Java uh, JDK. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Just get our machine up and running and all the fancy pants stuff we'll be doing in future videos. So before I jump into it, this is the first time you've come across this channel then please subscribe, please click that little bell because we're adding about three videos, four videos a week to the channel and you can then be notified every time we add one. Also, if you've got deep pockets, feeling generous, you wanna support Decoding, there's a link to our Patreon page in the description below. All pledges, massively welcomed and it will help me create more videos at a quicker pace. So, let's get that out of the way. Shall we jump into it? If you look at my screen, it opens up straight on the oracle.com website. This is where we're gonna be downloading the um, JDK. But getting ahead of myself, let's open up first off the, um, let's get started in the Hedera website. So I'm on hedera.com and then I'll click on docs.hedera.com. And you can see here we've got a wee little introduction. It says select your programming language. You can see straight away that they've got Java, JavaScript and Go. They've got community um, driven SDKs as well for .NET, but they've got nothing for Python, right? So luckily though, we do have a wrapper that we can use. Um, so some developers put this together. It says pip install Hedera SDK.py. If you're wondering where I've, um, what website I've visited here, it's a public repository called pypi.org. This is where people upload um, projects that can easily be downloaded or installed using pip. So um, yeah, if you could jump into this and straight away pip install Hedera SDK.py or dash it py, but it says on the fourth line here not to do that because it doesn't work. I can't stress this enough. This really is early doors. Um, you know, we have got a long way to go before we've got some, you know, some SDKs that we can use and the, you know, we can start working with Hedera uh, fluidly like we normally would with uh, libraries such as requests or, um, you know, pillow or things like that. So, or Stripe or Braintree. Right, so uh, there is a link here, so you can pip install straight from their GitHub, and then it's got a few lines of code, like a little snippet of how to get started, and then this piece of information here is what bamboozled me when I was first doing this, right? So it asks us to add a couple of bits and pieces to our environment variables, an operator ID, which is an account ID from Hedera, and an operator key, which is a private key from Hedera. So if you worked with APIs before, you probably will know that a uh, public key is very much like a username. A private key is very much like a password. So that's what we need to get. So you need to sign up to a testnet account at portal.hedera.com. When you sign up, you'll be given an account ID, public key, a private key. They're the pieces of information that you'll need to uh, get your machine up and running. So sign up, get the information, then we'll jump back into this here. So it's asking us to add some bits and pieces to our environment variables. Now, I've already done that, so but I will show you how to do it. Uh, first and foremost, we need to download JDK. So it's saying here that we need something more than um, 11.0. Currently, as of today's date, it's 16.0.1 on Oracle. So oracle.com the links to all of these will be in the description below by the way i've got a windows machine so i need windows x64 installer and if you click that it will then take you through to the installer and you'll be good to go just when it comes up don't change where um, the uh, the installer wants to put the directory just keep it in program files java and then i think it'll be jdk 16.0.1 uh, just click next all the way through until it's done. And when you're finished, 
you will then get a directory that will look like this. So let me open up my file explorer. It's opened up on my different screen, which is quite typical. So if we go into um, Windows, Program Files, Java, Java, oh, sorry, JDK 16.0.1. And then you've got a directory called bin and in there you've got one called server that is the path that we need so if we click there java uh, so it's c drive program files java jdk 16 so you need that path for your environment variables so you can copy and paste that or i'll just show you now how to do it so we on a windows machine click windows icon on the bottom click in settings when settings comes up click in system and then click in the little search bar there and just put environment and you want not this one here you want the edit the system variables or environment variables that'll open on the wrong screen yet again and then this comes up click on environment variables like i say i've already got mine set up but i'll show you what to do so some of this will be blurred out especially when i'm looking at private keys so you can see here i've got java home um, that wasn't there i had to add that so you click anywhere here and then put new it comes up with this screen and you can put whatever you want in here and the variable value in this case it will be a directory path so click cancel but you can see in java home if i click edit i've put that directory so it's the directory the jdk directory path that's where you that's what you want for java home okay click ok then we want the this bit will be blurred out Okay, we then want operator ID and operator key. Same process, so you click new, you call it operator ID, and then you put the account ID that you get from portal.hedera.com. Then you have operator key, and in there you add your private key. Okay, that's, that's important, you have to get that right. Add them and save them. So when they appear in the system variables in here, you know you've done it right. Next, you wanna click on your path and then click edit now in here you'll have a whole bunch of things but um, what's important is this bottom one here so as we've already added java home what you need to put is percentage java home percentage that references the variable that we've already added and then you want to add the slash bin slash server and save and click ok and save once you've added those four variables to your environment variables, you're good to go. And I'll just demonstrate that it actually does work by opening up a CMD. You can see it's already working. But once you've opened up a CMD, you want to just type in Java dash version. Once you click that, if this comes up, so Java version 16.0.1, that tells us that it is working and we are now good to go. We can, um, make some commands such as what they've got here so from hedera import private key and then make this here uh, we're not going to do that in this video this was all about just setting up a machine so we have done that just to recap we've downloaded from oracle.com a jdk so the most recent one currently is 16.0.1 but when you look at this video it might be 17.0.1 or whatever so download the most recent one we need to sign up to portal.hedera.com and get some test net credentials. And we need to add those to our environment variables. And then we are good to go. So that's the end of this video. I don't need to go into any more detail. In the next video, we'll start following the um, docs on Hedera. And we'll start creating clients. And we'll basically go through their docs and we'll just look under the hood and play around which is what it's all about so i hope you've enjoyed this video like i said at the start if this is the first time you've been to this channel then please subscribe please like please share the content as it's a massive help and i will be seeing you in the next video thank you Bye bye